different. And so those, and then there is a farmer line, which obviously we have trained. So basically, what farmer line does it? It provides uh, agricultural information to farmers. Yeah. So these were cool guys who gradu who were in uh, KNUST before they attended our training program. And soon after that, they used the knowledge they gathered from KNUST mm. and then from Mobile Web Ghana to set up uh, their own company. And now they are actually like. Uh, have branches uh, like oh, uh, some parts, yeah, all over. No, no, not even in the country, but other parts of uh, uh, Africa of as Africa. well. Yes, <coughs> I see. Uh, and so it's uh, it's a huge. There is a huge opportunity yes. to be able to develop <coughs> locally relevant content. Certainly. Once you are able to overcome the mountains in entrepreneurship or in running a business, then. Yes. Yeah, so, so we'll come back to that very quickly. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to say to our viewers that uh, you're welcome to send in your comment. And you can do so on 0202-222-054. And please remember to include your name when you send in your comment to us. We will read them to you. So, good. so let's, let's go back to this. Um, you s were saying something about mobile entrepreneurship. Yeah. Could you enlighten us more on that? Okay, so mobile entrepreneurship, uh, it's uh, basically running a business uh, through value-added services okay. on the mobile phone. And so that is, uh, that is our flagship project that we run at Mobile Web Ghana. Okay. So we enable people to enroll into a course uh, basically for three weeks where we teach people how to develop XMS application, SMS mm -hmm. application, uh, I IVR application, interactive voice response. Uh, Android application, for instance, and then uh, mobile web application as well. And so, and then we run a whole set of courses on, on entrepreneurship as well. I see. And, and who can participate? Who can take part in your courses? And so our courses are usually very open to people mm -hmm. who actually want to solve a problem. So as part of the interesting thing about our, uh, our training program is that before you participate we ask you to submit a problem that you want to solve okay and so normally we normally do screening like and so which problems uh, like okay these are interesting applications so in other words the problems must be relevant yeah to it must be relevant yes. a local, it must be a local problem indeed yes you can be in ghana and say you want to solve a problem <laughs> in uh, somewhere no. so we encourage people to solve their local problems mm -hmm. and so if they submit an application review the application and then uh, we tell them, we ask them to come around. Even for interviews, we do interviews, interviews, okay. interviews as well. Yeah. All right. And then um, there's a cost to this, isn't there? Yes. Uh, now there is a cost, but okay. previously there was no cost because it what was funded. Changed? Yes, okay. it's changed because, of course, there's a whole new dimension to uh, being able to sustain a project when it's running. Mm. Initially, uh, the project was funded by Vodafone UK. Okay. And so, and it's run for a period of uh, two years. Yeah. And so, after the two years, we need to find a uh, means of sustaining the project because there's a lot of interest. People keep coming back to us to ask us to run the same pro program. Yeah. And so, we charge. St we still don't charge like high amount of money. It's still something to cover costs uh, because we are an NGO. Okay. So yeah. it's still something to be able to cover costs and to be able to sustain the organization. Mm -hmm. But for those who might be interested in coming to you, mm -hmm. and uh, what about, so what, what, how much exactly? Does, does okay, so uh, we have a, like, we have a weekend courses. So currently we are starting uh, the weekend courses Saturdays. Uh, we are teaching introductory to mobile programming, mm -hmm. uh, which will run for five weeks. And we are teaching for those who already have some basic skills in program. We are teaching how to develop Android applications as well, which will also run for uh, which was around for five weeks. Indeed. And so the introductory to mobile programming is 500 Ghana CDs. 500 yes. CDs, yes. Yes, 500 okay. Ghana CDs. Yeah. That's affordable. And the duration is five weeks, it's you say? Five, yes, okay. it's five weeks. And uh, for those who already have some skill sets and just basic programming skills, it's Indeed. 400 CDs. Yes. So you teach how to develop applications for local yeah. problems. Yes. And then also you teach them how to what? Make, create businesses out of this. Definitely. Right? Okay. And so and we have an incubation space as well. Mm -hmm. So usually when people finish the course, they they don't have money to rent office space. You no. know how these two years advance and other things work out in Ghana. And so we have an incubation space for them for a period of like six months where it's free to come there, to come and use our facilities, uh, at least internet and other facilities mm -hmm. that is available. And so for that period, you'll be there and you'll pay an amount of money. 
and that period is a grooming period for you to go to industry if there is a need to link you to the industry somebody we do an introduction as well mm. so uh, usually during our training program we bring expert people who have started their own businesses okay yeah. uh, to with come experience. and yeah, to, yeah with experience to come and tell you what people are looking out there and what customers are willing to buy and some of the applications that have been successful as well Ah, I see. So it's interesting. You, you're a very young woman, uh, Florence. Mm -hmm. um, and the last week when I was speaking with Derek Yandatsi of Dream Oval, you know, very young man as I well. And, and so I think it's, oh, you know him. Yeah. So it's fantastic, you know, that, you know, you have young people mm -hmm. uh, in Ghana doing this. Um, are there many more of uh, your, 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 your sort, you know, doing the same thing, doing similar things? I think things? that uh, the industry is growing. Mm -hmm. It's a growing industry and uh, with a huge opportunity. Uh, a lot more people are now exposed. I think the problem is because people are not exposed to the opportunity, they don't even know how, they see it as a myth. They yeah. think that it's a difficult thing to do. But now a lot more people have the opportunity. At least since people are using WhatsApp and then uh, Facebook, you can give them instances that do you want to develop this kind of application, then they can think through and see if it's something they want. Indeed. But those days there was absolutely, absolutely nothing. And so uh, now the message is all around. Even if the message is not all around, they are, they are using some applications. Mm -hmm. So you so can, can see and yeah, feel. And feel and see, mm -hmm. oh, this is cool. Oh, I can also do this. It's not, uh, it's not that someone outside or a foreigner. No. It's that you have the capability to be able to do it if you want to do it. Yeah. And, and you think that there is a space for, you know, the tech there is a things huge like this space. going There's to the future space. in Ghana. There's yeah. a huge space and there are other uh, institutions facilitating this space as well. So mm. it's a growing space and uh, I will encourage a lot of the youth to go into it. Indeed. And so apart from, now Vodafone UK mm -hmm. is no longer funding you, yes. is it? No. Yes. So, so you, you generate your own funds, is that right? So that's it, we generate our own funds. Mm. It's locally generated mm -hmm. funds. Generated. All from just the, what, 500 cities you charge? You can imagine, <laughs> all from the 500 cities. I mean, we have uh, other projects that we run, but mm. it's not related to this. Okay. It's a data uh, data project, open data project. Okay. That we that once we also build capacity for people f for free. It's a data journalism project. So okay. people like you who are journalists, how do you use data to tell your story? And so ah, you have series of uh, it's like you're mentioning numbers and other things. Mm -hmm. Is there a way to project that number in a way that I can easily understand if I'm not a journalist, if I'm not educated? Can I just see a picture of the picture? Yeah. So even this, we still we bring students around and build their capacity for them for free. And so the last time we had a, a hackathon, which was like uh, two nights, you could see young students coming to sleep over at Mobile Web Ghana to be able to understand how they can make meaning from data. Indeed. And then at the end of the day, they come up with interesting data representation stories. Some uh, tracking the exchange rate from 1995 to 2015, mm -hmm. how it affects our commodities. Indeed. And it's just like, just looking at the picture, you could tell. So these are some of the projects that we're doing. Uh, and it's a sponsored project. But sponsored for the, project, okay. Yes, but for the mobile entrepreneurship project, it's uh, a self sustainable projects. Yes, so. yes. Florence, thank you so much for coming in. It's thank been wonderful you. talking with you and we hope that you'll join us again in the future to thank continue you. this conversation. Thank you yes. very much for having me. Good. And thank you so much for watching. We'll be right back after this break.